My name is Gina Harbane Cody, and I am a Next Gen Concordian. You may wonder what that means. Let me tell you. 40 years ago, I arrived in Canada from Iran. I had only $2,000 in my pocket. I had just earned my bachelor's degree in engineering from a top university in Iran, and my dream was to get my master's and PhD. J'étais déjà accepté au programme de maîtrise d'une université sœur, mais les droits de scolarité étaient de 4000 dollars. I had no way of paying that. At the time, my late brother Mahmoud had recently completed his bachelor's degree in engineering at Concordia. He convinced me to meet one of his professors, Cedric Marsh. Ce feu, la meilleure décision de ma vie. I met Professor Marsh two days after arriving in Montreal. After a one-hour meeting, he said, come to Concordia. Why would you go anywhere else? <laughs> we will give you scholarship. That day, Professor Marsh and Concordia changed my life. This is also where I met my husband of 37 years, Tom. <laughs> Sitting there. who is also a proud graduate of our excellent MBA program. Tom has been a tremendous partner, and I can't imagine my life without having met him here at Concordia. Nous devons beaucoup à cette université, tant sur le plan personnel que professionnel. The financial support we received from Concordia allowed us to get world-class educations. Concordia has a proud history of welcoming those without the financial means for higher education. For many years, it was one of the few universities offering night classes, allowing students to work while pursuing their education. C'est ce qui fait de Concordia un endroit si spécial, et c'est en grande partie pourquoi je suis si fière d'en être une diplômée. I am a next-gen Concordian because as a first-generation Canadian, I was embraced with open arms by this university and community. I am a next-gen Concordian because 30 years ago, I became the first woman to be awarded a PhD from Concordia's Department of Building Engineering. I am a next-gen Concordian because I use the knowledge and tools I received at Concordia to rise to the top of my field. I wish my mother and father were alive today to see this because my success started with them. J'ai grandi aux côtés de trois frères et d'une sœur. My father owned a construction company and ran a boys' high school. He made sure I was always comfortable in traditionally male environment. During summer, my father had me teach classes in his high school to boys who were 14 to 16 years old. And he would tell me, if you can handle boys that age, you can handle anyone. <laughs> Mon père me faisait aussi participer à des événements d'art oratoire. Thanks to my father, I never felt out of place in a school or during my career as one of the only women in my field. A case in point, I remember attending a conference in Toronto 
I was the only woman among 700 men. <laughs> so when the moderator started his welcoming speech, he said, lady and gentlemen. <laughs> I also remember being respected for who I was, who I am, because of my knowledge and understanding of my practice. Like my father, my mother was ahead of her time. She was a housewife who never finished high school and married young. Yet, she understood the importance and value of education, especially for her two daughters. I remember her words to me and my sister who became a successful dentist. She always said, the only way to be independent as a woman is through higher education. <laughs> Je partage la conviction de ma mère C'est pourquoi j'ai poursuivi le plus haut niveau d'études possible. I also pass this belief down to my two daughters, Roya and Tina, my niece Anahida. Roya is completing her PhD in engineering, Tina her law degree, Anahida is enrolled in the master's engineering program here at Concordia. I want daughters around the world to have the same opportunities we have had. J'imagine un avenir où la diversité, l'équité et l'inclusion sont encouragées et célébrées. My gift is for the next generation of women to support and inspire them to pursue their dreams and achieve their independence. Mon don vise l'étudiant qui ont besoin d'une aide financière pour suivre des études supérieures. My gift is for a better society by supporting the next generation of engineers and computer scientists who will develop the technologies of tomorrow. I have a message for all the young girls around the world who have been told engineering and computers are for boys only. Hear me now. My name is Gina Cody, and I'm a woman, and I am an engineer. This is my school, and I say engineering and computer science is for everyone regardless of gender, ethnicity, or wealth. Le sexe d'une personne ne devrait jamais lui barrer l'accès à quelques domaines d'études ou de travail que ce soit. My hope is that a few years from now, there will be so many women like me that I will be forgotten. I imagine a future where the idea of fields of study and work divided by gender is relegated to the history books. I want to inspire the next generation to not only pursue their dreams, but to also remember their alma mater when they achieve success. I want this donation to inspire other proud Concordia graduates to give for the next generation. I believe that when we achieve success, it's our responsibility to help those coming after to do the same. Je suis fière de me présenter devant vous aujourd'hui 
en tant que diplômée et donatrice. Thank you and welcome to the Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science. <laughs> <laughs>